Kenya is a beacon of hope in East Africa and has taken a tremendous leadership role in ensuring contraception to those who want contraceptives. Contraceptives are revolutionary and life-saving. They decrease abortions, maternal child morbidity, disability, and mortality. They transform the lives of women and young girls by giving them the choice to decide whether, when, and how often to become pregnant. Millions of women who want to avoid pregnancy are not using safe modern method of contraception just because of the myth and misconception about contraceptive. 26th of September every year is World Contraception Day. This year, the theme for World Contraception Day was breaking family planning myth in Kenya. There are different types of contraceptives. Rose is a nurse at Lubao Medical Center. Well, my name is Shani Rose. I'm a nurse, Lubao Medical Center. They are available in, there are several. First, we have the um, three months injection, the Poprovera. We, it's given three months each. It's a period of three months. And then we have the daily pills, the progesterone only, the, co the contraceptive methods, daily pills that is. And then we have the IUCD, the interuterine device. It's inserted inside the vagina. Alafu in a car for like a period of 12 years. Kuna seven, 12 years. And then we have the implants, five years and three years. And we have the condom. It's another method, a dual one, which protects against HIV, STIs and pregnancy. In this area, most used contraceptive is the condom and the depo. We have encountered so many clients of depo, three months injection. That's what they use mostly here, and condoms. Well, to be specific about that, we can advise the public on the use of condoms because it protects against, it's a dual protection. That means it protects against STIs and also pregnancy. And if somebody wants to get a method, first, you should go to a health facility. You are given a variety, explained about each, so that you decide, the, you be helped to decide on which one to be used specifically, which one it suits you. We are not forcing anyone to any method. A client chooses the method they want, and we give them the method they want. If it's not available at the facility at the moment, we always refer to General Hospital, Kamega, where they do like these procedures for insertion, mostly. We can do it here. If it's not available, we refer. Sometimes, to napata clients when you walk or something like, okipata hii method, inafanya nini, ama inafanya this. But I want to advise the public, don't use that. Ama musi iskize watu, you go to a health facility, a professional will advise you on the side effects of a drug, of a method. For example, somebody may say, ukitumia three months injection, you're not going to give birth again, that is. That's the myth we encounter, like, Almost every client comes with that, but it's not that. The only, the, you only use that and then you return to fertility after a period of four months. It, it goes up to two years, but it's four months. You go back to fertility and you get pregnant after using the method. There is nothing like you will never give birth. I love this other one. Somebody, like I've encountered a client when you are in the implant on in a ingia kwa blood vessel in the end in a tokia somewhere else. No, it's not true. That is just given, una, una, it's just inserted just beneath the skin and it's very safe and non-hormonal again because there are those that have too much hormones and those that don't have. So if you want to use a method, that's why we say you go to a health facility, you are being advised. You get, you get the effects, the side effects of a method. There are those that have side effects in Guinea Azina, so it's good that you are being advised first before you choose a method. She explained the most commonly used contraceptive in her serving locality. For the facility, we have the three months injection, that's the depot. I love for it to call that depot provera. And then we have the daily pills, the POPs progesterone only pills. Oh, we, have be, we, we, have, we have been having the implants. Implants pills go available. The five years, not three years. 
So those are the methods that we have the currently. Condoms. The male condoms, that is. Yeah, the male yeah, condoms. Not the female. Yeah. Female condoms are not that common because the male, the female gender, they don't want to use it. Like, it's very rare that they want to use the female condoms. Yeah. The most ask, the most use is the male condoms. The female ones, it's just a kind. Very few people. In yeah. fact, very few. It's because because they're gonna the same same whatever as the men. Yeah, they before. they they serve the same purpose. They it's a dual protection against pregnancy, against STIs. Yes. But it's rarely used. I don't know if the females they don't want to use it. Amo no go. I don't know. But they rarely come for that. Millions of ladies fear to use contraceptive because of the myth and misconception that are spread all over our society. But some have embraced this modern contraceptive method. Valerie Mudiovo, 23 years old, is among the young ladies who have embraced the modern contraceptives. I go by the name Valerie Mudiovo. I'm 23 years old. I'm not yet married and um, today I'm going to talk about contraceptives. Uh, Actually, na side effects zake zenye ni mwenye ni meona, apart from zenye zinakonga zimeandikwa. So, mara ya kwanza nilianza kutumia contraceptives nikiwa 20 years old. Um, nilianza kutumia P2. Yes, yeah, so hizo P2 zina act kama emergency pills. Okay, mi nilikuwa natumia e-pills. Hizo e-pills unazimeza after sex. Yes, and um, unameza 72 hours. It's a bit 72 hours actually after sex. So, siku wana side effects zake sana. Alafu ya pili ilikuwa um, depo. So, hiyo depo unadungwa shindano kwa mkono ya 3 months. Um, Okay, do nilia wana skia hai kwangi convenient sana, but nili tumia and it worked. So uh, nili kwana sumbuli wana periods, unapata sometimes maybe, uneza kosa kunyesha, ama ukinyesha unanyesha kidogo, ama sometimes inakuja mingi, ya yeah, na uneza nyesha pia for a very long period of time. Yeah, so hiyo ndio side effect yake yenye niliona sana. Ya tatu ilikuwa Femiplan. So hiyo Femiplan ni tembe, unameza kila siku. So unameza zimeandikwa siku zimeandikwa kwa hiyo packet. Yes, so hiyo unameza kama ulikuwa umeamua unameza saa moja ya usiku, utameza hiyo saa moja ya usiku, usiruke. Yes, so kiruka inaweza kuwa inconvenient. So unameza hiyo saa moja kila siku hadi siku hizo tembe zitaisha. Ah, uh, hiyo siku ona side effect yake. Ya siku ona kabisa kabisa. So nikakuja nikadunga nikaeka implant nikiwa 23 years old. Um nimeweka implant na nimeka ya 3 years. Yeah, so side effect yake ni nausea. Okay, yenye nimeanza kusikia actually ni nausea na kuchoka. Yeah, hizo tu ndo nimesikia for now. Uh, bado naendelea kuitumia. Yes, sijaona ubaya wake sana. Most ladies have not embraced the female condom. Female condoms are not that common cause the male, the female gender, they don't want to use it like it's very rare that a woman will use the female condoms. Yeah, the most as the most use is the male condoms. The female ones, it's just a kind. Very few people, in yeah. fact, very few. It's because it's because they're gonna the same same whatever as the male. Yeah, they before. they they serve the same purpose. They it's a dual protection against pregnancy, against STIs, yes. but it's rarely used. I don't know if the females they don't want to use it or no go I don't know but they rarely come for that. Rose recommend the use of contraceptives as safe, effective and helps in family planning. Okay, I would like to urge the, to urge the public and to encourage them to advise them on the use of contraceptive methods because they are very safe 
effective and they help, help in family planning. So basically family planning is not just to use the, the use of contraceptives alone, but they help, they assist in family planning. So the stressing of the child, the management, like how to, to raise a child, you take time. So you, the use of contraceptives you will help you on that first because you can avoid some circumstances and you can prevent some issues with that. It's very safe and effective. Therefore, WHO recommend that contraceptive information and services are fundamental to the health and human rights of all individuals. The prevention of unintended pregnancy helps to lower maternal ill health and the number of pregnancy-related death. Zuleka Nahova, 102.2 Lubao FM.